great to be here in Los Angeles. It's great to be here with a union shop. Hi, my name is Wendy Garcia, and I'm reporting for Global Girl Media. Miguel Contreras was a union labor leader. He fought for the rights of immigrants and labor workers. I can't tell you exactly when I met him. I think it was the early 1980s. But we always said that we probably crossed paths because both of us were involved in the farm worker boycott in the 1960s. And so there may have been more than a few times where we were actually walking alongside of one another on a picket line. Miguel Contreras is someone who never forgot where he came from. He learned under great leaders like Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta, and he rose to the highest ranks in the labor movement in our state. He dedicated his life to ending poverty and standing up for those with the least. Miguel Contreras was an extraordinary man. Miguel is a contemporary icon in local labor politics. No matter what field you choose, I think that the inspiration of Miguel what he did, uh, the way he grew up in the fields, and what he achieved in his lifetime will be an inspiration for young people. Miguel Contreras was, uh, to me, was a great leader. The biggest part that I remember is when he got all the unions together to work together. They were not treated the right way, but by doing this, what he did, he did, did a great thing. He put an example with the politicians in the city of Los Angeles. He looked at the presence of the politicians supporting the workers. Miguel had an ability to make different kinds of people feel comfortable with one another. Miguel Contreras was well loved by his community, from family to friends, union leaders, and politicians. Let me begin by saying that my brother, Miguel Contreras, couldn't speak much Spanish. <laughs> he was as big a Lakers fanatic as I ever saw, and any time that him and I didn't agree and he beat me up, I tell him I'm not taking you to any more Lakers games if you treat me this way. <laughs> the Miguel Contreras Learning Complex was built in his honor. Well, Miguel Contreras left such a legacy in this city. For me, I'm, I'm really honored to be at a, a location that honors him. Uh, and, and it's really, it's wonderful for the kids to understand his uh, impact on human rights and impact on working people and impact on immigrants. Usually schools are named after people that no one has any immediate reference to. Having Miguel Contreras as the namesake for the school is a contemporary labor leader who actually broke down doors so that everyone could be represented and participate. That's a huge accomplishment and so it should be celebrated on a, a school that people go to and that people drive by every day. Mi hija de, de, de 10 años tocaba puertas conmigo. ¿verdad? haciendo campañas políticas y creo que eso, eso fue un ejemplo que él puso en nosotros como trabajadores para que nuestros hijos, los jóvenes, siguieran este, el camino, ¿verdad? Y los hijos de nosotros tienen mejores condiciones por, por el trabajo también que él hizo. As students here at the Miguel Contreras Learning Complex, we are glad to have open doors to new opportunities. It's probably one of those few times when the students and parents are hearing about unions, they're hearing about the labor movement, um, and it's, it's at the same time that it's new, I think they know one thing, and that is that Miguel and the labor movement fights for people who work hard every day. It's fighting for poor people, and that's what Miguel was, that's what he's, one of the things that he fought for so much. One of the things that Miguel always strove for was education. So it's always been education. So see this, Miguel's name, it just, you know. <laughs> Miguel Contreras was an inspiration to many people. The artist Judy Baca was commissioned to create a mural in his honor. I didn't know him, uh, but I read everything that was, was about him and I followed his movements. I was in some of his marches. I was one of the thousands that were in the throngs marching for justice. What I've been inspired by is a person who came from the humblest background. Each of the students are working on parts of the mural. We're just completing it. I'm part of the process too, so it's not me being the determiner of the imagery. It's being determined by the young people of Miguel Contreras, the high school students who have been working with my university students. And we've been over 20 weeks in this process. I believe that public art, murals particularly, have a way of 
galvanizing and inspiring a community around ideas, and particularly around ideals of social justice. In the mural we're doing here at the Miguel Contreras Center, with the support of the foundation, is that we're basically looking at history, the work that Miguel Contreras did and other labor leaders did, and seeing them as models for what we can do in the future. The mural will be displayed in the cafeteria of the Miguel Contreras Learning Complex. This is the wall right here, our beautiful wall. It's an exquisite space. It's a perfect space. This is a moment in which we get to tell the story of those people who acted to create change. Miguel spurred all of us to activism, to get involved, that you can make a difference. And he had a clear vision of where he was going to go and what could be changed. He was a very loving guy, and he had this, he had this incredible ability to combine uh, humor and fierce commitment to the things he believed in. Miguel was the leading ambassador, spokesperson, and visionary for making sure that we just don't become the haves and the have-nots. Miguel's spirit, his dream, his ambition, and for me, his lesson lives on. He showed us we're stronger when we work together. I'm honoring the legacy of this incredible leader. So this piece is going to be a curriculum. It's going to be a way that students will look at the mural and every day be reminded of these people. And hopefully, as they look at these works, these images, they'll begin to identify those people as important people in history, as people that they should know and emulate.